hi in this video we are going to see about the most interesting and uh, and the technology which you may not be sure of whether it's implementable or not so that is the digital scent technology so what it is so we may we might have heard about the uh, voice transmission even light transmission so this, this is pretty different that we can also uh, transmit the smell so interesting isn't it so let's have some uh, brief introduction about this digital scent technology and let's proceed to it and the main core of this uh, technology is to make the online purchases more feasible uh, of uh, of making possible for the customers to even uh, uh, get the smell of the uh, things which they are going to bite in it so um, the very good examples for that is the soaps maybe some perfumes so imagine of how it could be when you can actually smell the perfume which you're going to buy it online so interesting so on making the curiosity on making the uh, customers to buy their products by making uh, curious about it is the main core of uh, building this technology so how it has how it became possible and how it got fainter and uh, run away and whether it will come in or not we we actually we are actually not sure about uh, whether it will be coming again or not but uh, some researches which happened in 19 uh, uh, 50s or something itself about this technology and they have proved uh, the, and they have proved the possibility of this technology and uh, it it got implemented some few years ago not in india but in some abroad foreign countries and uh, on making and uh, getting uh, some uh, uh, difficulties in implementing it they have actually stopped and carried uh, the research in it so let's have some glimpses about what it is and uh, how we can understand uh, about it so let's move on and the next uh, we are going to have some look brief look into how we can transmit or broadcast the smell so how it is possible so on um, coming to the uh, sound waves they are actually they can travel as wave so uh, we find it very uh, easy, uh, pretty easy to transmit them. But the smell or very compounds of molecules. So how well this could be transmitted over the air. And uh, you can also um, uh, think of how it can be come, how it could be uh, possible to come to the receiver without any deviations in the surroundings. So it's something that's impossible, right? So uh, so that um, we have they they are they have uh, some. Uh, uh, proportionals to it so um, before uh, going into that proposal of which became the possible one we can also uh, get some glimpses of uh, what were the fa what was the failure one not was the com not uh, not uh, of the complete failure but uh, some um, face some uh, difficulties in uh, encrypting so uh, normally, if we need to transmit one thing in in a medium, we need to digitize it. So that's very important one. So the digitizing this smell uh, became the very complicated one, and uh, and after uh, after digitizing it, we can actually uh, trans uh, we can actually uh, make it make the receiver to receive it and uh, encode it so the problem is with the encode encoding part so how we can convert the smell into zeros and ones that was the major problem over so and uh, further researches in the olfactory sciences have proved that some olfactory signal processing can make it possible even and uh, uh, and also some uh, university in uh, Spain, universities in Spain uh, undergone a research to find uh, XML uh, encoding uh, transcript for that. 
and uh, they worked on it and faced some difficulties and in 2005 it happened actually uh, according to the papers which i have verified so uh, it 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 gave some information about that and uh, and and it shows that there were some difficulties in uh, making it uh, transmitted uh, with that xml uh, encoding script and uh, on developing that they they f- uh, they have faced some difficulties it seems so they have stopped that even and uh, research is going on even they, uh, it's uh, uh, depicted like that so um the one process which made it possible for the uh, transmission is that so uh, let me uh, give you some uh, real time example of or not real time example some relative example to it so for example uh, so uh, take a paint actually so how we are actually creating a paint with some chemicals right so on mixing different chemicals we will be getting different paints so as like that on uh, on mixing the uh, on mixing some chemicals uh uh, uh they have uh, said that some 128 chemicals were used for uh, um uh, producing or generating smells so with that 128 chemicals uh they have actually uh, created the smell let me come to it later first we'll complete that paint part so what is that is uh, on mixing different paints we'll be uh, uh, forming a uh, different paints so if i need if someone need to uh, uh, make that same paint uh somewhere else not in that particular place but in somewhere else that same kind of paint what we w- what we will do normally whether we will take that paint or and carry it over to the uh, next site or uh, or a, a piece of information containing the chemical ratios is enough so the ratios is uh, quite enough to uh, replicate replicate the paint which was uh, uh done in the other part so the same kind of scenario happened here also what is it that um the uh, information about the chemical ratios to perf- uh, to uh, generate that particular order or perfume is digitized actually they they uh, they are not actually sending the smell itself but the information of that smell so in what proportion if i add that particular chemical i will get that particular smell they have transmitted that information so uh, that's easy to be transmitted uh, so they have uh, 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 gone through that approach so uh, that is the digitized smell in this slide you can actually see that um, Uh, it may not be clear but uh, uh, somehow I managed to uh, get the slide uh, i didn't get any further slides beyond this so uh, but let me explain it clearly uh, f- first there are three steps in transmitting that smell actually one first step is to digitize that smell so uh, digi- digitize that scent so uh, digitizing that scent needs some uh, some something to be included we'll come to it later a uh, first step is the digitized scent next is the broadcasting of that uh, digitized scent that is the information uh, di- digitized and we are sending that and uh, synthesizing of that to broadcasted scent so in the receiver side we will be having some uh, smell synthesizers to synthesize that particular uh, digital uh, digitized uh, information into a smell we will be uh, making it to a smell so we'll see it how so first is the digitized smell so how to get that uh, uh, digitized scent that is that is uh, the digitized scent is a compression of some chemical makeups and the chemical uh, scent spectrum that is scent spectrum uh, uh, like we are having some light spectrums we we do also have that uh, uh frequency intensity spectrum which is depicted in the slide so in the rightmost corner in the right in the rightmost it is the intense and intense that is a uh, more uh, intense uh, order and in the left leftmost it is the mild order so based on that in the uh, uh, based on the position of that particular scent in the scent spectrum they are actually indexing that scent 
and uh, chemical makeups that is the chemical proportions are added to it and we are sending it to the digitization in digitization olfactory signal processing makes the major role over there that is based on the uh, perfumes intensity of how well the smell can reach that is the some depth of that smell so based on that they have digitized it even you can refer the olfactory signal processing to know more about this so here i am just giving the glimpse of how it can be happened or how it have happened so uh, digitized and after digitizing it will be uh, converted to the uh set of uh, binary ones and zeros so uh, we'll be transmitting that to uh, via a transmitter so the uh, in receiver this on receiver side we can actually make the replica of what have happened before and we can uh, finally get it into a, a smell a smell uh smellful air so um so to may in the receiver side we need some uh um inbound gad gadrigers uh, which can uh, actually store some chemicals within it and uh, we can uh, uh, according to the proportion of the chemical information given by the chemical makeup we can actually form the uh, smell over there and with the some uh, uh, and with some um, holes or uh, ventilators or some pores um, Uh, pores um, contained in the receiver we can actually spread that smell uh, to a particular surrounding so this is the information about complete some uh, overall information about this digital scent technology of uh, how it can be implemented uh, that's the overall idea of it so next we can see about the applications applications are wide that is in web pages so how it how it would uh, how it it would be when a uh, web page is opened it can give some order it can give some perfume smells or some uh, pleasant feel so it will be some somewhat uh, nourishing then uh, in emails also even uh, when you, if you open an email you can get some perfumes order so these are all some something uh, imaginary but it can also be made real so this is the example this technology is example for that particular imagination can be converted into real so next is online purchases as i said before and mainly in entertainment zones so uh, another scenario is what uh, it, it can be happened in theaters too so in theaters if we are go if uh, if you were uh, gone for a movie where uh, where you are uh, supposed to a view or uh, have some uh, a view of uh, a, a roses full of roses and jasmines in that particular scene and if you could able to uh, smell it also it will be so nice isn't it so these are all some areas where you can use this uh, digital scent technology so as the applications are more the limitations also equally more so one is the main uh, main disadvantage is maintaining investments so to maintain or to make such kind of uh, a uh, setup is highly uh, uh, fundable and financially it's it it's somewhat difficult to offend, offend for that and uh, and also the chemical involves involvements are more so uh, so the chemical so normally these chemicals can uh, uh, cause hazardous uh, smells or uh, on the other hand also so on uh, considering about the health issues uh, these may not be uh preferable then then another thing is that uh, no one is so perfect about uh, how the olfactory uh, processing happens or how the uh, um uh, perfumes can be made with some chemicals is is all the ratios given is highly uh, pure or uh, it's some judgment or some prediction it's really unknown of how it can uh, uh, work or uh, olfactory signal processing is uh, is 
uh, is not so ahead so no one is uh, aware of it then the then the other one is that uh, that uh, no proper encoding means that is i, I told about that xml um language development and all so that related to that so these are all some of the relation uh, some of the uh, uh, limitations of this technology so on the whole this is the whole pack of this particular technology uh, even more uh, um updates may be coming in future that uh, in uh, lastly they have some they have uh, also invented some um, um uh, uh, invented one product no, uh, named i smell which can uh, uh, produce perfumes on its own but that, but no um, transmission and rece reception is involved over in that uh, particular product but even it made possible to spread the smell uh, so for that i'm saying so that's all about this uh, technology not that's all about this technology but in this video it's uh, it's covered about the overall uh, mechanisms so as technology is wide we can uh, we were uh, we, we have seen it heard it but even we are going to smell it in future i guess so let's hope for that and that's all for this video and thank you thank